Hi, my name is Brother Sam Amitz. I'm a Maris brother, so I'm going to be talking to you about Mary. I'm also a huge dork, so I'm going to be talking to you about the ancient Greek language. Every time we recite the Hail Mary, we of course say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And these lines come from the first chapter of Luke's Gospel. They're the words the angel Gabriel says to Mary at the Annunciation. Hail, full of grace. The New Testament was written in Greek, and the words that are actually written for what Gabriel says are chaira kakaratomene. The first word, chaira, it just means hello in Greek. But what it literally means is rejoice. Greeks, when they say hello, they tell each other to rejoice. The second word, kakaratomene, is the past participle of the word for grace, charis, hello, graced one. Charis is the Greek word for grace, and it's also related to the word for joy. The sense of their word for grace is what you do for someone, not because they've earned it or deserve it, but simply because you like them, because you take joy in them. Grace is something you give to people whom you take joy in. So what the angel says to Mary, chara kakarathomene, can very loosely be tra translated as Rejoice, woman, because God has taken joy in you first. Mary is a very special and unique person in the history of salvation, but in this way, she is like each of us. We are all recipients of God's grace, which simply means God doesn't just love us, he likes us, he takes joy in us, he gets a kick out of us, and sometimes when life can be difficult and the situation is very scary, it's important to remember that, just that God likes us. God bless you.